to my channel, Sherry's DIY Workshop. Today I am doing a little Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Now I don't know about your Dollar Tree, but my local Dollar Tree has lots of spring and tons of Easter stuff out this year and some things I've actually never seen before. I don't know, um, maybe, you know, somewhere else, but I've never seen them at my local Dollar Tree anyway. So first up, I'll go over the glass things that I got. These right here are fairly new, and I just think these are actually a really good deal for, you know, a dollar twenty-five, a glass jar, and these are a tin, a tin lid, and I think they're super cute. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these yet, but they would even be cute just left as is and used for, you know, cotton swabs or cotton balls or something like that in the bathroom. So yeah, I just think those are really cute. And then the other things I picked up were these jars. These actually make super cute canisters. Um, you can paint them. Uh, you can even use like the little uh, transfers from Dollar Tree, you know, and put sugar flour or whatever on them. And um, also a little knob on top to make them look like little canisters. And yeah, I think these are really cute. So I've got three of those. And I absolutely love, love these jars. I've actually painted uh, three of these together and put floral in them. And they just, they paint so nicely and distress very nicely from all the little grooves in it. Yeah, I absolutely love these jars. They're kind of hard to find. I check every time I go to Dollar Tree, rarely do I actually find them. And this is another one that's, um, I actually haven't uh, purchased this one before, but it's another one that you rarely ever see. But these will also make cute canisters. Um, or again, you could, you know, take the lid off, paint these, just dress a little and put some greenery or floral in it and they'd be super cute too. And the other thing is, I picked up some of these. I like how they're round, but a little more square. Um, I purchased these to make um, a tear tray out of these for one of my future videos. And I think this will make a really cute spring Easter tray. So that's one of the things that I got. And I picked up some of this burlap ribbon, which I usually have fairly trouble finding as well. And this one right here, I absolutely love this ribbon. I think it's so cute. I've never seen this one at my Dollar Tree. Another thing I've never seen at my Dollar Tree is floral tape. Now I'm sure they generally carry it. I just never, it must be something that goes fast and I've just never seen it there. And I got these little crates. I know we're all familiar with these little crates, but um, I've actually never, done a project with these. Um, I plan on, I think these will make a super cute little planter for our, like your window, a little window planter. You, know, you could stain or paint these, glue them together. You know, once you get your floral and greenery in it, you won't even notice that it's not one solid piece. And if you would like to make it for, you know, like a table or a bigger table, you could also, double these up and you know so on yeah so i plan to make this of my upcoming video uh, and these are something newer i have not seen at my dollar tree either these stencils i thought those would be really cute for different spring diys and these right here are some new transfers that i've never seen there either they're so cute and i found more stencils. <clears throat> I've never seen either one of these there. Yeah, I thought these were really cute. I'm gonna get by for like dollar twenty-five. And then I picked up some of these eggs. I have purchased these in the past. These are just so cute. I love them really just for all year round. Um, I plan to take some old paper and mod podge it onto there. 
and uh, they turn out super cute. So this will be another thing in my upcoming video that I'll be showing how to do. Now when it comes to floral at Dollar Tree, I'm quite picky a lot of times. I just feel like they just look so fake. You know, um, the green color is just usually really off. Uh, but occasionally I do find some that I find that are look a little more real. I think those are pretty. And I like these yellow ones. So I generally get my floral or greenery at Walmart. I feel like I'd rather pay, you know, a dollar or two more for something that just looks a little more quality. And I got these, I thought these might come in handy to use for like a carrot or something for an Easter project. And these, I thought these were just kind of unique and a little different, so I picked those up. And you can't really go wrong with some good old cream colored or white flowers. So, and um, these right here are something I've definitely never seen at my Dollar Tree before. They're almost like a baby bottle brush. I have carrots, but they're so, so super cute. So many possibilities with those. Another thing I have not seen are these little moss bunnies. They are so, so cute. I'm not sure what I'll be doing with them yet, but they are too cute not to just pick up. And these right here, I don't know if these were out last year. I don't remember seeing them. These little burlap carrot shaped bags. I think these, I've seen people use these on the little carrot form wreaths and they're so cute, but I've not yet been able to find any of those carrot wreaths yet this year. And for the other ones, I've got these different Easter signs. I absolutely love this. Normally, you know, I'm not too crazy about the actual picture um, of most of these, but this one is super cute. It's just, I just think it's adorable. I'm not crazy about the glitter, but I definitely plan to sand that off. Um, I did try a little bit right here and it's, it comes off very easily. So I will probably sand all that off. Um, get rid of all that glitter on there. And this one right here, same, lots of glitter. But I figure for even a dollar twenty-five, it was worth purchasing for this little um, bunny on here. It's, it's super cute. You could easily pop this right off. And you could repurpose this as well. Just again, sand off the glitter if you don't like that. Paint over it. You know, you could even put this bunny back on there if you paint it like you, to your liking or whatever. And again, lots of glitter. But I absolutely love these little bunnies. They're so cute. This one does have a broken ear, but I plan to take them off and use them for something else. But I think these are so, so, so cute. So of course I had to pick up the other ones. These little burlap looking bunnies. They're just so adorable. Can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with those. And then I found they're starting to get some things out for like 4th of July. So I went and picked up this star wreath form while I could actually find it. And I think this is really cute. Very cute thing that you, know, you could put on a wreath. And I also picked up these plastic baseballs. These are really perfect shape, perfect. Um, size for covering like material, some Mod Podge, and using these as decorative balls in a big bowl or something. So I picked those up. I'll be doing those in one of my upcoming videos as well. And I picked up this planter. It's actually a pretty good size and I always love the shape of this one. And um, the color, I'm you know the color is okay, but I think I would definitely like to paint it something more of a flat color and get rid of some of that shine. So maybe a flat black, flat white, something like that. But this would be cute to even uh, drill holes in the bottom and put fresh floral in it, or you could put faux flowers in it, put it on your, you could put it on your porch or your windowsill or whatever. But yeah, I thought this was cute. And again, not bad for only $1.25. And I picked up these little wood sticks. Dollar Tree actually 
really been impressive with all the new wood and everything that they've been getting in. Um, some of these are a little splintery and you know a little jagged but you just take some sandpaper and sand that off and they should smooth that real well. Now these would be really cute to either paint or stain and use as a picture frame which is actually going to be one of my projects in my next video. I will be you know, a lot of times Dollar Tree, they're very thin pictures. I know, and even this is a very cute picture. It still just looks cheaper. It's like, you know, thin uh, cardboard and all that. But I'm thinking you could really upscale these with uh, staining these wood and just making some kind of a little picture frame out of those. Maybe put a little bow in the corner, or I also have these little leftover carrots from last year you know you could even uh, just you know add a little carrots to it so I think that's gonna be a really cute project and I think that's about all that I have for this video today if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to stay tuned for my upcoming videos with some of these projects if you would like subscribe comment and let me know which project you may try and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.